If seven inch stereos aren't big enough for your car's dash and you don't wanna have a floating panel screen that comes out because you want a more flush look, then Pioneer has a solution for you. This is Pioneer's DMH-C5500 NEX, which is an eight inch module radio with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto that has many different applications. Yes, this radio was introduced several years ago, but remains in Pioneer's lineup because of its uniqueness. So hang out with us as we take a close look at this radio and what makes it so special. Hey, what's up? I'm Josh from Breakers Stereo and Performance. Welcome to the channel that reviews, demos, and goes over the latest in aftermarket accessories like car audio, performance, suspension, and more because we don't drive stock. So go ahead and subscribe to this channel now. So this radio has a few special applications. Being how it's a module radio, meaning that the screen is completely detached from the body, you can get creative when it comes to mounting. And if you just don't want to settle for a seven inch monitor and want something larger that doesn't pop out like a floating panel, then you can customize a dash kit for this to fit. But if you're less ambitious, then Metro does make several vehicle specific kits that include popular vehicles like Jeep Wranglers, Ford F-150s, and Mustangs. Now these kits give this radio an OEM finish, making it look sleek and seamless. And FYI, Metro does make a universal floating panel kit for this as well. So this radio is equipped with Pioneer's NEX software that has been solid for many years. Now stay tuned as we unveil everything about this radio and uncover its specifics and potentials to get your new system going in your ride. Okay, so let's go over the specs. As mentioned before, this radio is an Apple CarPlay and Android Auto unit. It is not wireless, so you must have it connected through the USB. The radio features are standard AM and HD FM tuner. Bluetooth, USB playback, and Sirius XM ready. It has a 480p 8 inch capacitive LCD display, and out of the box, it looks just like a tablet. Now, this screen offers multi touch gestures such as pinch to zoom and swipe and scroll. This screen is very versatile in terms of mounting. You can use the optional mounting hardware that allows you to bolt it on directly to a single DIN chassis or you can mount it flush away from the chassis through the support line. Now the radio has a 13 band equalizer along with time alignment. It has a USB input, two rear audio video inputs, a built-in amp that pushes 14 watts RMS a channel and 50 watts peak, six channel pre-out rated at four volts for front, rear and sub. And finally, it comes with a wireless remote control. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and turn this on to show you what it does. But first, let's do an unboxing. All right, so let's check this out. All right, so we got the remote, Bluetooth mic, main harness, USB extension. Okay, uh, these are your RCA outputs along with the video output, video input, and then it looks like, of course, your backup camera. And then these are the brackets, okay, and the mounting hardware. I'm gonna go over how to use that here in a minute. And of course, your warranty card and your instruction manual here. All right, so this is the chassis. And as you can see, it is a single DIN. So this is actually the front here. And then on the back, you have your USB input here. This is for Sirius XM. You have your steering wheel control here, Bluetooth mic here. And then this is for the iDataLink Maestro piece, your main harness here, and then these are your RCA inputs and outputs there, and of course your standard AM, FM antenna input. All right, so here's your eight inch screen. Uh, you do have some buttons here on the side, the bezel that is around it. And then on the back of this, that's your plug-in. Okay, so once you plug that in, you're good to go. And as you can see, the screen is connected now to the chassis, and then this is why you're able to mount this, you know, in spots where you know normally you wouldn't be able to put a radio because there's no room behind it. Okay, so if you wanted to attach the body, we take the brackets and then you would screw them in to the top. Okay, I'm just gonna place them in right now so you guys can get an idea. And then this is going to go this way, okay? And then you attach it, actually this will move up a little bit and you attach it and you screw it in, but you can see, get an idea of how that's gonna look. 
Um, again, Metro does make a floating panel kit for this, but this is a pretty universal piece and that is what makes this radio special and different than some of the other radios that we've taken a look at here on this channel. Okay, and this has Apple CarPlay, so I'm not gonna go over that because you guys already know how that works. And also Android Auto. And again, it's wired, not wireless. And then you do have iDataLink Nitro compatible. So here you're able to control a couple of things here, such as your climate control. And then also if your car has backup sensors, things of that nature, all that can be displayed on this radio. All right, so here's our startup menu and I select English. And from here you can select either standard mode or network mode. So really quick network mode will allow you to do three way networking. So we're not gonna do that here. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the standard mode. If you want information on that, we do have videos that we've talked about that in the past. Also Pioneer's channel has a video that goes over that as well in the NEX line. Okay, so here's our main menu. As you can see, we're on radio. So here I can go to the radio if I wanted to. If I wanna go back, I'll hit that button, the home button. And then if I wanna select all sources, I'll hit that there and then I'll give you all the sources that are available. So HD radio, Bluetooth, Pandora, Spotify, USB, iPod, Sirix XM, if I have the Sirix XM tuner, auxiliary, AV input, okay, and then we have your camera view, source, power off here, okay? Okay, so we'll talk about some of the important settings here. So let's go ahead and go into input and output settings. You also have your camera settings. And then let's get to, I got picture adjustment here. And then let's go ahead and go into themes. So here you got background. You got a couple of different themes you can choose from. Illumination, clock, home custom settings as well. Let's go into the audio settings. All right, so here you have your graphic EQ. And then from here, uh, you can adjust if you want. You just go to custom. Pick a band you want to boost and just go ahead and boost it. And as you can see, there are some presets here as well. Fader and balance. Mute level, source level, subwoofer on or off. As you can see, I keep hitting these stars on accident. What the stars means is these are your favorites. So let's say for instance, I wanted a subwoofer to be a favorite. I just hit the star, okay? And then when I'm in this menu, if I just go to the star, then it'll bring up my favorite. So instead of having to go through the audio settings and finding the subwoofer down the page, I can simply just hit that button and it'll take me directly to my favorites. All right. So here you have your subwoofer on or off. You have your speaker level. This is a nice feature. So you're able to adjust each individual speaker, each level, okay? So one, obviously one side is louder than the other. The back is not quite as loud. You can turn up each individual speaker. That's a nice feature. Okay, you also have your crossovers. So you have high pass crossover, and then you can pick the slope, 12, 18, 24. And then from here, you can choose the crossover point as well. So for the front and the rear, and then uh, you're also going to be able to do the sub in the sub settings, okay? And then you have your crossover points. You can choose from 25, 31, 40, 50, 63, 80, 100, 125, 160, 250. And all those points are gonna be the same for both low pass and high pass, and then you do have phasing here as well, all right? Next, let's talk about, you can do listening position if you want. All right, so if you want to just focus on the driver, you're able to do that. Or if you want to take it a step further, then we'll go into time alignment. We're going to turn that on. And then from there, we can adjust, okay, each speaker's time alignment. Uh, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to measure from the middle of the speaker to the headrest on each speaker there, and then put in the correct measurements. Okay, then you have bass boost, loudness. If you're running an amplifier, we recommend not to have those on. And then let's go into video. So you have your video setup, AV, aux, and camera, okay? And then your Bluetooth. So this is the NEX software, if you're familiar with it. It's the same software they put across the line of all Pioneer NEX units. So really good, really reliable. Hasn't changed too much in the last couple of years, but good, solid software that just works, you know, day in and day out. Okay, pros and cons. Now, as far as features, this radio isn't gonna be anything too special besides the different mounting capabilities that it has. A real pro for this radio is mostly the ability of mounting this to certain vehicles, especially those that Metro makes a kit for. Of course, the larger screen is a plus and having iDataLink Maestro capabilities are good too. I would say Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but nowadays those are pretty much standard features for a radio of this caliber. Cons, it's hard to say what the cons are 
since there isn't really another radio out there like this. It would have been nice to see less of a bezel where the buttons are and an HDMI input would have been nice too. I'm gonna to give this guy a four and a half star because of the large screen and its ability to be able to mount the chassis away from the screen if needed. But if you couple certain vehicle specific dash kits made by Metra, it really does look OEM. Okay, if you're interested in this product, there's a link in the description below taking you directly to the product page. Now remember, we do have financing available, simply add to cart. Pick a financing option, get approved, and we'll send your gear out to you ASAP. Okay, again, my name is Josh. I'm with Breaker Stereo and Performance. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.